hello guys welcome back to another video so today in this video we are going to create a windows 11 bootable usb drive but we are going to use ubuntu os instead of windows or something so usually we use windows os to create a bootable usb drive and we have some softwares like power iso and then rufus usb tool and there are some more there is microsoft media creation tool as well but we are going to use ubuntu so here we have some commands that we are going to use so we will issue them in sequence so first second and then third so we are going to use the terminal window so let's open the terminal window and here you can see let's put it down on the side so we have the text editor and then our terminal window so let's put them side by side and then let's copy our first command so the first command is sudo add apt repository universe so let's copy it and to paste control shift and v and then we press enter and it will ask for the password obviously it will not be visible so after you put your password it will install all the repositories and then you can do sudo apt update so sudo apt update and it will update all the repository links and then if you want you can continue with sudo apt upgrade as well but sudo apt upgrade will uh, download a lot of files and it can take long so if you go let's say sudo apt upgrade and you press enter you can see that it is going to download around 697 something megabytes so it will take time so i'm going to say no for now so now let's issue our third command which is sudo apt install woe usb which is the name of the software so you can see that it is installed and zero upgraded and zero newly installed it means that the software is already installed in my pc so let's go to the apps so first i'm going to show you my usb so you can see here that i have my usb connected and if we talk about the properties this is a very minimal usb so the speed is very low and um, it's just to show you so it's 64 gigabytes which is enough so usually um, we consider using a usb more than 16 gigabytes which is enough so let's go to the software so you can find it here woe usb and here you will uh, find an interface like this so first you have to select the iso file so you have to download the iso file of the operating system that you want to uh, make it bootable for so for example i'm going to use windows 11 which is here windows 11 24 h2 and then we have to select the file system so we are going to select ntfs here and when we select the usb we will have the option to click on install so as soon as we click on install either it will start the installation uh, after asking the password or sometimes you might have an issue so you can see here that we have an error target device is currently busy unmount all mounted partitions it means that it it is detecting that the usb is currently in use somewhere so we will open our, our terminal window again and we are going to issue some commands so let's try our first command so sudo u mount which means unmount and then the name which is slash dev slash hda so hda is the name for the usb device so let's press enter so first we are going to try hda so let's press enter it will ask for the password and then you can see that it is not mounted so if we try our software now it means uh, the usb device is not mounted the one that we tried so it will not work for sure and now if we are going to try dev hda1 you can see that the command has been executed and there was no um, error or message so if we are going to click on install now it should start our installation so you can see that as soon as we enter our password it has started the installation so now it will copy all the files to the usb and then it will be ready to use as a bootable device so it can take 15 to 20 minutes but it depends on the usb type as well and in my case the usb is very slow so it is going to take longer than usual so i'm not going to wait for it for long and i will show you some progress progress of it so you can see here that it is moving and then at last when you have all the processes ready it will say that the setup has been completed so i hope that this method will be useful for you just in case if you need it so if you like this video you can hit the like and subscribe button and i will see you in the next one